Wine is essentially a result of time and technique. The process is a bit of a mixed bag that ranges from agriculture to the artistic with a little bit of chemistry involved. The perfect example of time and technique can be found at the Cloyne Ridge Winery. We have essentially 5,000 vines uh, that we have planted on our farm here. Uh, they're planted in three different vineyards. Um, the two oldest vineyards have been around for about a decade now, about 10 years. Uh, and that comprises 4,500 of that 5,000 vine total. Um, of those 5,000 vines, they're divided out into about eight different varietals. And on a good year, if everything goes well, the rough yield from their vineyard should be around 50,000 pounds of grapes. Then the second half of the process begins. At the other end of things, at the end of the day, what matters most to the wine brewer, wine manufacturer is, is this product qualitatively gonna fly off the shelves? Are, are the clients, are the patrons gonna like this? And the responsibility for the winemaker is to take the best product he can get his hands on and try to make the best wine out of that he can using whatever subtleties of chemistry that he can contrive of to make that work out best. The winery is set up to have an end-to-end -end production line. They can harvest the grapes, process them through the grape clusters all the way through to bottle product with the equipment they have on site. This is our latest addition to our facility is our bottling line. This bottling line is going to replace what we've been using, which is a semi-manual system. Um, the neat thing about this particular unit is it can really ramp up the production rate for our facility. The manual unit with two guys operating can generate roughly 300 bottles in an afternoon. Uh, the low end speed for this particular bottler is about 600 bottles an hour. Thomas and his wife Kim constructed this building as a takeoff on a traditional gravity-fed winery design. Upstairs is the wine tasting bar, public interaction area, which is perfect for private parties, and below is the barrel room where you can have dinner parties. Well, we have wine cave tasting dinners, which are the fancy five course dinners. Uh, the chef comes in and um, does all of those. We have um, different wines that are paired with each course. So we do the different themes. Uh, most of the time it's dinner with the, with the winemaker. Um, sometimes we'll do like uh, things like Harry Potter or Titanic theme. Um, both of those are really fun. Basically, they're just kind of wine cave tasting dinners. We do them once or twice a month. And the Titanic themed dinners have been particularly popular. So the whole menu is, um, you know, created right after the menu from the last known menu of, of first class dining. Um, they had like 14 courses that night, so we kind of have to, you know, condense it down to six or seven or it would take all night. But um, there's six or seven courses that we do that evening. Of course, you know, we pair our different wines with those courses. But it's just kind of an evening of fun, you know, everybody shows up, we all dress up, you know, um, Titanic style, so we kind of transform everything, you know, into, you know, last night on the Titanic. The whole five course dinner is on exact replica china that I had imported from the UK. Cloren Ridge is also a very good location for a business meeting or a wedding. We have great weddings. Uh, we do all kinds of tours, you know, daily, so um, we're booking up really fast, you know, for those.